Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Jimmy Johnson, legendary 49er Hall of Famer, dies at 86. Former NFL legend Jimmy Johnson, who spent his entire 16-year pro football career with the San Francisco 49ers and was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1994, is dead at 86, the Hall announced Thursday. Jimmy Johnson was extraordinarily athletically talented, Hall of Fame President Jim Porter said in Thursday's statement. The 49ers enjoyed the luxury of using him on offense and defense early in his career to fill team needs. Once he settled in at left cornerback, he flourished. The notion that a lockdown cornerback could cut the field in half for the opposition was true with Jimmy. Only rarely would other teams' quarterbacks even look in his direction, and more often than not regretted the decision if they challenged him. The 49ers organization also expressed its condolences in a social media post. And the team released a statement marking his passing. The 49ers family is deeply saddened by the passing of one of the NFL's all-time greats, Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy embodied the essence of what it meant to be a 49er, the team statement said. He was the ultimate gentleman and will be remembered for his humility, kindness and lovable demeanor. We send our condolences to his wife Gisela and his entire family at this difficult time. While Johnson displayed prowess on both sides of the ball, boasting 47 career interceptions in 213 games, with 615 return yards, he also hauled in 40 receptions for 690 yards and four touchdowns in two seasons as a wide receiver. One of the greatest players in 49ers history, especially on the defensive side of the ball, Johnson was among the original shutdown cornerbacks in football. Former 49ers quarterback John Brody once said that veteran quarterbacks didn't throw Johnson's way because of the fear of being intercepted. Jim doesn't receive much publicity because the opposition avoids him as much as possible, Brody said back when they were teammates, via the Pro Football Hall of Fame website. Talk to veteran quarterbacks like John Unitas and Bart Starr, and they'll tell you they call a few pass patterns in Jimmy's area. The only reason Johnson doesn't lead the league in interceptions is he doesn't get the chance. When Johnson retired following his 1976 campaign, no NFL player had turned in more seasons at defensive back than he had. At that time, Johnson's 201 games and 198 starts were each the most for a DB in league history. His interceptions and INT return yards remain second in 49ers history, behind only fellow Hall of Famer Ronnie Lott, 51 interceptions, 643 yards, the Hall of Fame said. Jimmy Johnson, born James Earl, played his college football at UCLA but was also a great track athlete away from the football field, but his brother was even better. Radar won a gold medal in the decathlon in the 1960 Summer Olympics. Jimmy Johnson played college ball at UCLA. But Johnson wasn't just a football standout for the Bruins, he was also exceptional on the track, though not quite as good as his brother. Jimmy Johnson won All-American honors and an NCAA 100-meter championship, while his brother, Rafer, garnered a gold medal in the decathlon at the 1960 Summer Olympics. Jimmy Johnson was the sixth overall pick in the 1961 NFL draft and made his presence felt right away in his rookie year with five catches in his first dozen games. He achieved Pro Bowl status from 1969 to 1972. Johnson died Wednesday evening, the Hall of Fame and 49ers announced. Jimmy Johnson was extraordinarily athletically talented, Hall of Fame President Jim Porter said in Thursday's statement. The 49ers enjoyed the luxury of using him on offense and defense early in his career to fill team needs. Once he settled in at left cornerback, he flourished. The notion that a lockdown cornerback could cut the field in half for the opposition was true with Jimmy. Only rarely would other teams' quarterbacks even look in his direction, and more often than not regretted the decision if they challenged him. The 49ers organization also expressed its condolences in a social media post. And the team released a statement marking his passing. 
The 49ers family is deeply saddened by the passing of one of the NFL's all-time greats, Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy embodied the essence of what it meant to be a 49er, the team statement said. He was the ultimate gentleman and will be remembered for his humility, kindness and lovable demeanor. We send our condolences to his wife Gisela and his entire family at this difficult time. While Johnson displayed prowess on both sides of the ball, boasting 47 career interceptions in 213 games, with 615 return yards, he also hauled in 40 receptions for 690 yards and four touchdowns in two seasons as a wide receiver. Alex Smith calls Brock Purdy the real deal entering year three in the NFL. Is San Francisco 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy a game manager? Alex Smith wholeheartedly disagrees with the notion. Former 49ers QB, Alex Smith, joined the Drive Guys Thursday to talk about the Dwight Clark Legacy Series and all it entails. The guys also ask Smith about the current state of the 49ers and what Brock Purdy has to do to prove the doubters wrong. Plus, Smith talks about his NFL journey and everything that has led to this point in his life. All that and more on Sacktown Sports. I mean, all, Brock Purdy, did this last year was lead the NFL in almost every single passing category, Alex Smith said on the show. I mean, throwing the ball downfield, touchdowns outside the pocket, throwing under pressure, this guy was number one in all of them. I think it couldn't be further from the truth, I think he is the real deal, I think he's only going to continue to prove all the doubters wrong. Report reveals 49er stance on Brandon Ayuk trade. Brandon Ayuk has been the subject of trade rumors since the start of the offseason, but it does not sound like the San Francisco 49ers are planning to part ways with the star wide receiver. Ian Rappaport of NFL Media reported on Wednesday that the 49ers are not looking to trade Ayuk. Rappaport says the team views Ayuk as a key, key part of their offense heading into 2024. The Ricky Pearsall pick really made everyone scratch their heads and go, maybe they really are trading Brandon Ayuk. It doesn't seem like that is in the cards, at least right now, Rappaport said. My understanding on the situation, really something that has been consistent since the draft, is that the 49ers are moving forward with Brandon Ayuk on their roster. How much will he make next year? That's really the big question. They have been in contract negotiations, trying to get him a long-term deal, trying to get to a point where he will accept their offer. The 49ers drafted former Florida star wide receiver Ricky Pearsall with the 31st overall pick. That led to even more speculation that they could trade Ayuk or even Debo Samuel, but general manager John Lynch tried to put that talk to rest a few days later. Ayak had his best season as a pro in 2023 with 75, 1,342 yards and seven touchdowns. He is set to make $14.124 million next season in the final year of his rookie contract. He was open about his frustration with the 49ers several weeks back, but the tension seems to have cooled a bit. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Brandon Ayak? Leave your opinion in the comments.